Georgia Fortunato. I'm Bethany. I'm Kristen. I'm Tracy. I'm Rita. I'm Miriam. I'm Carrie. I'm Ian. Hi, I'm Lisa. Kim Hamilton. And Laura Hirsch. Megan Graham. Grace Diaz. Lee Gaspar. Shilpa Knight. Zalda Collins. Donna Pregon. Amanda Simino. Mary Reynolds. Sue Turcotte. Brenda Borgard. This is my partner. Kristen Michelena. Jennifer Becchio. I am Miriam Shalcross Smith. And I am Amy Shalcross Vogel. And we're mother and daughter in business. I am woman. Hear me roll. In numbers too big. Welcome to you win. to my mentoring program designed to educate our community on, issue, on issues facing working women. We will be speaking to our guests in the areas of arts, sciences, education, law, medicine, politics, retail, military, and business. The goal is to, of the show is to provide information that comes only from personal experiences and to pass this information down to our daughters, nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the contest, content will relate to the guest speaker's journey in their profession, what they learn most about their journey, and what they wish to pass along. Since women-owned businesses are the fastest growing sector of our economy, my guests will close with a lesson they have learned. Welcome, Wendy Andrews. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Amy? I'm doing very well. Wendy Andrews is a pampered chef consultant, which is her part-time job, as well as she works a full-time job. So she's going to explain to us say, how she does it all and why she chooses to do both. So please, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into Pampered Chef. Um, about uh, nine years ago, I uh, had been working with a mortgage company mm -hmm. and uh, they went out of business. So I was faced with how do I supplement my income? I knew I was going to have to continue working a full-time job, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to work as hard as I had been. <laughs> so I decided um, that I wanted to become a Pampered Chef consultant. I loved the product. I had hosted um, Pampered Chef shows before. So I knew that it would be a good fit for me. And I looked up my former consultant. And um, I went ahead and uh, joined up, uh, knowing that I wanted to earn about $400 a month. Yes. So doing that, you can do about one show a week, uh, four shows a month, and earn approximately $100 um, at a show. Oh, nice. um, so that was kind of like my, you know, my game plan yeah. <laughs> was to uh, have a, a $400 a month to yeah. make my car payment. Um, I also had in mind a long-term goal mm -hmm. um, to be able to eventually um, have a retirement kind of plan and be able to eventually um, just do Pamper Chef. Yep. Um, my husband is uh, older than I am and I figured that when he was able to retire we'd be able to you know enjoy life together and I'd be able to just do Pamper Chef as my you know regular income. Yep. Um, you know life always throws you some curveballs mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I kind of have, uh, I started off in September of 2000 and, oh my gosh, I forgot the year now, 2006 I think wow. it was. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, and um, been doing some shows, um, just like I said, three or four shows mm -hmm. a month. Um, I do a few craft fairs every now and then to meet some new people. Um, and. Uh, just have fun doing doing the parties um, and it's been a pretty um, steady you know yep. part-time income for me um, it's also um, fun to get out meet different people um, and we have we have fun at the shows you get to meet people from all kinds of different walks of walks of life I meet, uh, you know, moms, stay-at-home moms. Mm -hmm. uh, you also get to meet um, people who work full-time jobs like myself. Um, you meet people who, uh, you know, also need uh, supplemental income yep. like myself. I've had people join my team um, that, uh, you know, because they needed to have uh, some income such as I do. Uh, so yeah, it fits for different people mm -hmm. for any various and reasons. So many to say that you can do whether it's Pampered Chef, Avon, Mary Kay, Avery Anderson. Thirty. There's so many different types of avenues that people can do today to supplement their income or just to get out of the house and meet new people. 
Yes. As well as be your own boss. Yes. Because you decide which when you want to do a show. You decide how much effort you want to put into it. You decide. You have a lot of avenue, things you can decide on versus when you're working a typical full-time job with supervisors and it's kind of you're going along with the corporate mission. This is kind of a nice change for that. Yes. Do you li- what do you like most about that versus having a full-time? Uh, like you said, the, the independence mm-hmm. and being able to um, schedule um when you want to do shows, mm-hmm. I can do it um, around my family commitments, um, other things that I have going on. Um, <clears throat> I have a granddaughter. Um, I have nieces and nephews that I like to spend time with, so it's certainly something that I can do around those mm-hmm. activities. <clears throat> I also do some volunteer work. I'm the president of the Friends of C. Smith Library, awesome. so I'm busy uh, doing things with them. We're the fundraising uh, arm for the library. So always different things that we have going on at the library. Um, so it's uh, certainly something that is very flexible. Which is nice. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, you kind of wear a lot of different hats, I mm-hmm. think, when you're, when you're a woman and a woman in business. <laughs> yes. Now, how did you decide this avenue versus any other whether it's the makeup or the purses or food, how did you decide on doing a Pampered Chef? Um, I think because I had experienced um, Pampered Chef um, as a um, hostess. Uh. I had had, um, I think it was three parties as a hostess. I had um, wanted a couple of big items Mm -hmm. and I decided I didn't want to pay full price for them. (laughs) <laughs> when, after I got married, I needed some new cookware. So I always did it as um, a way to earn a piece of cookware and not pay full price. And then it just seemed like a good fit for me. Um, I like to cook, but I'm not a fancy cook. Um, I kind of like the simple recipes. Pamper Chef has um, a lot of great recipes that you can put together with few ingredients, um, and not taking a lot of time. Uh, Rachel Ray has recipes that, you know, can be done in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Pampered Chef went a little bit better and put together some cookbooks that have uh, recipes that can be done in 29 minutes or less. Wow. (laughs) So. I need those. (laughs) Okay. I can help you with that. (laughs) (laughs) Or just not cooking at all. (laughs) Okay. Well, you know what? We have um, things that can help you with that too. If you want to get, you know, something takeout, then bring it home. You can put it on a piece of our stoneware, heat it up in the oven, and it'll taste Excellent. you know like it did your leftover pizza will still be nice and crunchy perfect <laughs> now um doing this it's i'm sure you have to go and market yourself and try to s- get people to want to host a party because i'm sure asking people to host a party can sometimes be cumbersome in a lot and ask because people are like well i have to have people over what do i provide for food what it seems like a how do you sell it to people if someone wants to go into a business doing this, how do you sell it to people to have people over your house, have someone come in and have their product? How do you make that work? Um, it's, it's fun having a party. So it's more like getting your friends together for an evening of food and fun. Uh. Um, uh, the hostess is going to earn free and discounted products. Mm-hmm. Their friends are going to earn a free item usually as well, um, based on their purchase amount. Yep. Um, Pamper Jeff always gives an incentive um, and when they purchase. Uh, it's usually, you know, if you spend so much, you get a free item. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I've started doing, um, you know, when you spend so much, I'll give a free item as well. I give incentives. If you bring a friend, you'll get a free gift. Oh, wow. So we kind of make it fun for yeah. everybody too. Um, so I. It's always fun to get your friends together. So when we try to make it fun, you know. Do you ever have any issues trying to get people to host parties or do you think it's not as Mm, Not usually, but we also have other avenues that people can do. You don't always have to get your friends together in your home. Okay. Uh, You can do a catalog party. You can do um, the party on Facebook. Um, uh, Just kind of all kinds of different avenues too. I have a hostess who's working and she doesn't actually want to do the party in her home. She wants to um, do it outside the home, so we're working on finding a venue where she could hold it. A local restaurant, um, sometimes at 
um, you know, your mom's home or your sister's home, uh, another place that you could actually hold it. Mm -hmm. So there are other options. Nice. Do you ever feel over overwhelmed and overworked with having a full-time job, part-time job, volunteering, or how do you balance that all? Um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get overwhelmed <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, but I think um, I've over the years I've have found a good balance. Yes. The four shows a month for me seems to be, you know, a good balance. Mm -hmm. um, coming into the fall season, it's always a busier time oh, of year. It? Yeah, um, lots of people want to get their friends together for the holidays. So um, it does get a little bit busier, but um, I might do like six or eight shows in, you know, November. <coughs> um, but uh, I think I usually, you know, manage to keep all my balls juggled and, and <laughs> find a good balance. Okay. But um, I think usually I, I manage to keep it yeah. well balanced. Yeah. Now you, a lot of times with um, ind this independent selling, you, have, you can have people underneath you, correct? Yes. How do you keep them motivated to stay se selling? Because I know I had a brief, very brief stint selling makeup and it lasted like two months. I was like, oh, I don't want to ask people to do parties anymore. I was like, I just lost all my gusto to do it. How do you keep people motivated to continue to do it? Because I think that could be a huge challenge. That is a challenge because the motivation has to come from within. Mm -hmm. um, so you can guide and mentor, mm -hmm. um, but the motivation really has to come from within. I try and give tips. Um, I currently have a team of seven people. Oh, wow. Um, I just had one new person sign up um, yesterday. So Congratulations. Thank you. I will be welcoming them on board later today. Nice. So, um, uh, you know, I give tips on what I've done, what works for me. Mm -hmm. um, I suggest things like, you know, if you're not sure who to who to ask for parties, try a vendor fair, especially this time of year. Oh. It's a great way to meet new people. Um, you know, sometimes it is hard to get them, yeah. you know, motivated, but you try and give the tips that have worked mm -hmm. for me, so. Now, the vendor fairs, are those a new concept or have they been around for a while? Um, I think they have been around, I mean, they've been around as long as I've been mm -hmm. in business. Um, that's something, I'm not a Rhode Islander. Oh. So. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Oh boy, I have kind of a long story, okay. but uh, time. <laughs> I was actually born in Montana. And oh, I love Montana! Beautiful big sky country. Yes. Um, and I was um, then we lived in Alberta, Canada, oh. and then British Columbia, Canada, and then here in Rhode Island. My parents are from Rhode Island. No way. Yes. That's amazing. So, <laughs> going from Montana to Rhode Island, well. Via Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, it's a cute. I went to Montana once. My fr I have a friend that has um, a winter home out there. So I was lucky enough to go. And it's a beautiful, but it's completely different yes. than Rhode Island. Yes. How do, what, well, do you, what are you thinking? How do you like it? Oh, well, I was only, uh, that's where I was born. So okay. and only a couple of years there. Okay. Uh, I been uh, went back to visit, you know, yeah. once uh, when I was in my 20s. Okay. But very different, but yeah. um, it's uh, it's nice to, it's a very beautiful place, mm -hmm. but I haven't, I can't say that I've experienced it as living there, as, you know, as yeah, an adult, no, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but, um, you know, Rhode Island is unique, mm -hmm. um, British Columbia was a great place to live, yeah. so. That's awesome. Yeah. Rhode Island is like a boomerang. Everyone leaves and they always come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 don't stay long. They don't stay away long. They always come back. That's yep. Fun. That's great. Yeah. So, um, anyone over your course of your working life or just life in general have been a mentor to you to help you get from step one to step two to step three? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, my uh, director, Yvonne Thompson, mm -hmm. has uh, been a great mentor. She's always... Uh, always been there to answer questions. I reached out to her last night because of this new team member, you know, uh, and you learn from other people too. There's always, we have trainings um, 
often mm -hmm. and you always pick up little tips uh, and you know and it can even be from somebody who's not necessarily in Pampered mm -hmm. Chef it could be somebody who sells 31 or Ava Anderson yep. it can be anybody else who's in the direct sales business and you might hear something that they say or see something that they do and you're like oh I could apply that to my business mm -hmm. so it's all networking and mm -hmm. you know just listen and learn and you can always pick up something mm -hmm. So if I wanted to start, let's say I decided I want to do direct sales, what is the first thing I should do to, what should the listen or listening audience do to get themselves involved into direct sales? Um, they should investigate um, different companies mm -hmm. and find the fit that's right for them. Um, you know, it could be, <clears throat> it could be that um, cooking isn't, you know, the thing that they want to do. Um, they could not be the world's best cook. They could be one of, you know, like America's worst yeah. cooks. <laughs> um, it could be that uh, makeup isn't their thing. You know, they, yeah. they need to really investigate. And you can go to each individual individual company's website. Um, they all have um, information on joining the company. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, you can reach out to there's usually a link on each company's website um, to for information on their specific yeah. um, you know how to become a consultant um, you can contact a consultant in your local area um, and then you know usually each uh, a lot of companies too will have information on um, how to uh, contact a consultant area. Um, I know with Pampered Chef, we have recorded calls. You can call in and just listen in oh, wow. um, to a, a call on, you know, what it's like to be a consultant. Uh, you could go to a, a team meeting and just kind of sit in, you know, and hear what it's like. Mm -hmm. um, go to training. Sometimes <coughs> the different companies will have a, you know, just a team meeting and go and sit in and, you know, hear, learn, um, go to a vendor fair, talk to different consultants. That's a great way to just yeah. do some networking and not necessarily, um, you know, have to take a risk and sign on, yeah. but just get to talk to a whole bunch of people. There's, uh, Rhode Island is a great place for networking. Yes. You can go to a networking event um, all throughout the month. There's mm -hmm. different networking events and you can just, you know, go and network 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 <laughs> and i think it's important you said <coughs> earlier is find the niche that you enjoy yes so if you like makeup do that one if you like bags jewelry whatever because there's so many different ones mm -hmm. I, I did makeup originally yeah which i like makeup but i'm not a huge makeup person i'm not like someone that changes the color so i probably went the wrong avenue because oh. after a month i was like ah whatever <laughs> Okay. I wasn't as motivated about it because my interest level wasn't as high as it could have been if I had done something I was probably more interested in. Right. How about the upfront cost to the person that's starting the, their direct sales business? What would you say the normal cost of that is? Because if someone's just trying to make money mm -hmm. and they don't have a lot of money to put up front, what would you say is the normal amount that they would have to put up front? Um, I can't speak to other okay. businesses, yep. but I can tell you with Pampered Chef, um, we have two kit options. Okay. So we have a $99 kit, mm -hmm. um, and then we have a $159 kit. Okay. So, um, it's you not can, that much. No. Uh, the costs are very reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, during the month of October, it's Pampered Chef's 35th anniversary. Oh, wow. And they're offering a 50% um, kit rebate, depending on the kit that you purchase. So if you <coughs> qualify, which means that you sell $1,250 yep. in your first 30 days, you can get a 50% rebate on the kit that you purchased. Now, what is in a typical kit? Like, does it help you? It does it help you throw out the party? Like, is it like like the knives, whatever it is, to get you going to speak to people about the product? Yep, so the um, the mini kit, the smaller one, has enough um, tools in it to do a few recipes, kind of like mm -hmm. it comes with um, a bar pan and um, some of the tools to do like some appetizers, mm -hmm. you know, some basic recipes. It's kind of meant for people who already have Pamper Chef tools um, yeah. in their kitchens. Yep. Um, uh, a lot of uh, 
people who have you know lots of tools mm -hmm. um, maybe it's a former consultant somebody who had been a consultant a few years ago or has a well-stocked kitchen yeah. um, and you get business materials too you'll get a packet of catalogs okay. you get order forms um, you'll get some recipe cards so you kind of you're starting off with all the materials you need mm -hmm. um, for your first shows you can get going right off the gate out of the gate yep. um, and, and do your first shows you know for, for a month uh, that's great. Um, and then with the new consultant kit, the big kit, the $159 kit, um, same thing. You're getting more tools with that one. You're getting $600 worth of tools with that one. Okay. Um, tools and materials, I should yeah. say. Um, but you'll get a small saute pan with that one. You get the manual food processor with that one. Um, you're getting lots of great tools mm -hmm. with that one. So that's meant more for the person, uh, the novice, the person who doesn't have mm -hmm. any of the Pamper Chef tools in their kitchen. Okay. Um, so you can do <coughs> pretty much anything with all of the tools in the new consultant kit. Okay. Um, and again, you're getting all the business materials, the catalogs, the order forms, postcard invitations, um, all of that stuff. So again, you can start off, you'll have enough uh, materials for your first shows. Um, you know, you can get started and do, you know, your first 30 days worth of shows so that you can just get up and go. And I'm assuming most direct sales is probably that way. They give you enough to start to start you off to get you out there and feel prepared. Yes, because exactly. And then you have to learn all the product. Yep, and uh, with Pampered Chef, we have great turn, um, training tools as well. Okay. We have um, a web web based system, mm -hmm. so all there's all kinds of training videos that you can watch. Um, there's all kinds of materials that are available online. Okay. So yes, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I think that's also intimidating as well when you do direct sales and then someone asks you a specific question about a product, and you're like, oh no, I don't know the answer. <laughs> it helps that they do have such thorough training. Yes. Um, yes. Pamphlets yeah. and online stuff, because that's what I'd be like, I don't know what that does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is, it, it's, um, it's amazing the materials that are available mm -hmm. to get you trained. Um, and then when you have a director like myself, mm -hmm. you know, I'm always available to answer questions. If I'm not available, we have this with Facebook. Oh my God. Well, Facebook <laughs> is like, it's easy to communicate with people today. Yes. You don't have to pick up the phone. You don't have to actually have a conversation. You can just send your question out and right. get your answer back. Exactly. There's lots of groups that are available. Um, mm -hmm. So you can just reach out and say, I have a question on this. And, That's you great. know, Pampered Chef has um, a website for, you know, for our customers and our, our consultants. There's all kinds of different groups that you can join That's too. I think so. that is truly helpful though, the different groups you can get so quickly today at, at your fingertips. Yep. When I first started, again, when I did the makeup for like two months a month, <laughs> I didn't, there was, I, probably Facebook was very, very new, but I wasn't on it. So like, I'd always have to call my consultant. I'd always, and it was like too many steps. I also worked full time. Okay. But if I could be at like, let's say 11 o'clock at night on a group and asking questions and getting the feedback I need, it's much more convenient because some people do their best work at like one in the morning. Okay. Some people do their best work at six in the morning and it's nice with the different groups to have that constant way to get in touch with someone, yep. which Facebook does provide, yes. which is awesome. Yep. Or any other kind of social networking as well. Right. I'm sure that's expanded all direct sales. I think so. I think it, yeah, it helps when you can just yep. kind of reach out and now, ask do you, a question. Do you ever think your full-time job gets in the way of your part-time job or do you feel like it's, it's pretty balanced? Mm. No, I mean, my full-time job is pretty, you know, m most days, I, I, you know, I'm there yeah. 8 to 4.30, yeah. 8 to 5. It's not not usually that's good. in the way. So Because I think that would also be a concern if someone is working full-time. Where do I fit something else in? Yep. Do you know what I mean? Like, how do I find the time? But it's weird. I think the busier I am, the more I get done. Yes. Yes, because you learn how to balance everything. Yeah. Yep. So it's like. And then if I didn't have anything to do, I probably would not be self-motivated to do much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it keeps you going, you know, it keeps, exactly. you, like, keep, keeps you on the route. We have five minutes left, and okay. I really want the audience to understand 
how easy it is to get into direct sales. Again, whatever they choose. Mm -hmm. And how having your own independence sometimes gives you more, you have more, how can I say this, more loyalty to it or more commitment to it. Okay. So what is your thoughts on that? Do you feel that that makes you sell it better or do you think that it's helpful when you have a supervisor? What do you like more? Um, no, I think it's much easier um, to be uh, your own boss. Yeah. Um, my Pampers F income has afforded me um, great opportunities. Um, we've been able to, you know, have more financial security. Mm -hmm. We don't have any credit card debt. Awesome. Um, I think my Pampers Chef income has, you know, helped us do that. That's great. Um, we now have a second home um, in Maine. Um, I don't think we would have been able to afford that um, without my second income. That's amazing. Um, so it, I think it's definitely something that you can... And it's fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we had a tragedy in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, and during that time, um, my husband was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, my Pampered Chef business allowed me to leave his bedside at the hospital and just get away and have fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to focus on him. I was able to just go out and be an adult and not have to, you know, worry about mm -hmm. that. It was just a fun night out. That's great. And you're not worried about deadlines, like typical work deadlines. It's right. just more socializing and yep. just enjoying your time. Exactly. And making a little bit of money. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I mean, I've had people join my team just for a, a short time. Yeah. They needed to, you know, get a credit card bill paid down. Okay. So, you know, you can do so it. So it can be strategic. Exactly. That's wonderful. Yep. Well, we only have one minute left. Okay. And I really want to thank you for coming into the show. Thank you for having and me. And I think it's really important that people realize that making extra money doesn't have to be a task. No. It can be fun. Yes. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>